We just talked about a mass falling through the air. Now let's think about a mass falling through a liquid. So say we had a beaker of water here. I always specify water with waves and a fish like that. If we had a mass falling through this water, it would feel a force mg, and it would also feel a resistive force pulling back, r. In this case, though, r is minus b times v, where b is a damping parameter, or is the damping, param damping constant, I'm sorry. Okay, and it depends on the properties of the fluid and object. So it's not a simple thing we can calculate. It's a complicated parameter that you usually measure. So what you'll notice is liquid drag is different from air drag. Basically, they're both fluid drags, but this is a fluid drag that uh, is proportional to v, to the velocity. So they're both fluid drags. One is proportional to v squared, the air drag. Fluid is proportional just to v. And that's really just because fluid drags are very complicated. And they depend heavily on the properties of the fluid. So for these, it just goes as minus bv. This is a phrase you will never see. No one calls it the liquid drag. Really, there's air drag. And then this is just called damping. Right. So that's a, something I made up just to draw the contrast between um, liquid fluids and uh, gaseous fluids. So using this, we can very simply, again, calculate that terminal velocity. All right, so the terminal velocity happens when what? When uh, the sum of the forces in the y in this case, so we'll say down is in the positive direction, equals 0. All right, terminal velocity means the velocity isn't changing. The velocity isn't changing. The acceleration is 0, so ma is 0. So this occurs uh, when the sum of the forces is 0. Well, 1, the drag always opposes what's making it move. So gravity's pulling it down. The drag is the other way. So really, this just means that the magnitudes are equal. Since they're opposite direction, their sum is equal to 0. This is really just saying that the magnitude of r equals the magnitude of mg. r equals mg. Or you could just say when these forces balance. So if we go with the magnitudes, then this one is just bv. In this case, it's the terminal velocity, because we're talking about the specific case, equals mg. So terminal velocity looks much simpler than in the case of air. It's just mg over b. The mass, mg, the, uh, the force due to gravity, divided by the damping constant.